Hey guys, how you doing? All right, so I apologize for taking quite a bit to get this video out there to you guys, but you know, it did take a little bit longer than I anticipated to put this firearm together and get it ready to go shoot. And as a recap, what I did to my farm, it's a Tika T3X. It was originally chambered in a seven millimeter Remington Magnum. And what I did to it is I changed the calibers, went to seven mag to a seven PRC. So uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've done to it, give you some specs on it to better assist those who are, you know, looking to do something similar or take bits and pieces of it to help you guys out and doing something uh, like a project or whatever to make it somewhat custom. So let's go ahead and show you what I got over here, all right? All right, so here's a snapshot of my Tika T3X. I'll give you an overall shot right over here. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over each uh, aspect of this and give you some specs like I was mentioning before. Okay, so starting with the action part of it, what I did to it is I upgraded the bottom metal like I was mentioning before on my previous video, uh, changed the bolt shroud and the action screws and the stock. So looking underneath on the bottom metal portion right over here. So what I did was uh, with action screws, I, go, I went ahead and actually bedded the, the action as well. And I set the action screws to 45 inch pounds. Um, looking at the bolt, I talked about that before. Uh, it was done by Long Rifles Inc. Fluted the bolt and coated the receiver, the bolt and the handle as well. And I had some questions uh, regarding how does this cycle and how smooth is it? Uh, there is some uh, difference that I've noticed. However, it isn't anything significant and those who have shot Tikas before know how smooth that action is and uh, From what it was before to what it is now. It's still smooth as butter. So no issues there uh, One other thing I did um, To the trigger. Um, I didn't change the trigger. I, it's still factory uh, But I what I did to it is I changed the trigger spring and I got that through mountain tactical and Sitting right now, the trigger is about uh, 26 ounces uh, is what it's set at with that new trigger spring. And moving on to the stock, covered that before. This is an, uh, an AG composite Alpine Hunter stock. It's in uh, carbon mossy rock camo. And it came out pretty good in my opinion with matching the the stock camo the green over there the od green to what it is on the receiver bolt and action right over there uh, so the barrel 7 prc barrel it's a proof research barrel carbon fiber wrap it's a one and eight twist and it's threaded five eighths uh 24. one thing i did add to it at the end is a a break so this one right here this is Air Cortina's EC tuner brake. It's a brake and a tuner built into one. And I'm just haven't really uh, messed with it at all. I literally just put it on and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it to kind of see how it goes. And I'm looking forward to how much difference that uh, this does to the recoil management. And primarily it's gonna be like, I wanna see my shots and shot placement and follow through when it comes to it, especially on a big caliber like this. Uh, Continuing with the action, so what I added to was a 20 MOA rail. Uh, it's from Warren. And what I did was I mounted it on and I set it to 25 inch pounds and that's what the manufacturer recommended. Warren and um, set it to that and it it's, came out pretty good. Uh, rings on here are again through Warren. They're mar they're, it's their Mountain Tech high rings in 34 millimeter. Uh, set the, the torque to 65 inch pounds at the base of the rails to the the 20 MOA rail and the rings onto the scope were 18 inch pounds. One thing I did I add also to it is a level for my scope, uh, especially if I, I plan on shooting this long distances and past five, 600 yards. And every little thing that's gonna help me out is that is gonna be beneficial to me making sure I hit my targets and I'm not off target. So the scope right over here is an Athlon Cronus four and a half to uh, 29 or 56. The reticle that I got on here is their APRS1 first focal plane. It's a mill reticle. 
and it's a Jap it's Japanese glass. However, they uh, are a U.S. company, and they do offer a lifetime warranty on their stuff. I've been a Vortex and Loophole customer in the past. I still have some of their products, but I was looking for something a little bit different, a little more compact, but still had the capabilities to go out long distance. And looking through it, I haven't really shot any rounds downrange, but looking through it just on its own, and it's it, it's clear. Uh, couldn't be more happier, but uh, there will be more videos that I put out here as I'm shooting this and uh, showing you guys how it all functions and it works. On the bottom, what I did over here on the forend was I added an Area 419 Arca Lock onto the forend of the rail. And what's cool about this is I also bought, uh, I have a tripod that coincides with this, that works with it, that I can attach uh, out in the field. Uh, this is a Harris bipod. And I had this Harris bipod on my, uh, on the existing original form of my Tika. But what I did was I, Area 419 makes an adapter which changes out and it allows me to attach to this Arca lock. It's pretty much an Arca rail system, but theirs is more proprietary. It has certain grooves that are built in there that attach, that cause it to be more binding. So there isn't any play in it. And I'm pretty excited to, to use this out in the field. You know, that, especially how I can attach a bipod on the fore end, on the front of it, and then also uh, hook it up to a tripod if I need to going out to it. So this is an overall shot. Um, and we'll go front to back. And if you guys are wondering what this the bag is, this is through a, a long range only. It's one of their, their rear bags, and I've been using it for... About a year and a half now and i love this thing it, it, it's so uh applicable to you know prone shooting and whatnot and i would highly recommend it so i'm gonna give you some specs on this firearm as well um as far as like put together like you know what does this come down to what's the weight you know is this is a backcountry hunt is this a backpack hunt is this something where you're gonna be showing bench rest um but either which way so Everything all put together is a little over 10 pounds, which is not bad at all. Uh, the total weight came down to with everything put together, the stock, the scope, mags fully loaded, um, the brake and the, the bipod on it, including uh, uh, the Arca lock system is 10 pounds, 10.3 ounces. So that's pretty phenomenal based off of everything over here for a caliber of seven PRC and I will definitely let you know kind of how it goes when I go and shoot it down range. So hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do reply back to all of them and appreciate you guys. And hopefully this takes off and, you know, it's beneficial to those who are looking to do something similar to this. All right, take care.